Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Hello, I'm Professor Cohn. This is the Forex Supermodel Weekly Review for Monday the 12th of the 7th to Friday the 16th of the 7th, 2021. We've written up the weekly flows to get us underway. We're going to stop start this. We're also going to combine this video with the uh, data cycle video, which we normally do separately, uh, and just bash through. So anyway, here we are then. Uh, so week 12th to the 16th, Euro dollar minus 70. So over that period, the Euro dollar as an FX pair lost 70 points or pips. Euro yen minus 79, Euro pound plus 30, pound dollar minus 29, minus 129, sorry, pound yen minus 156, dollar yen minus 10. If you plug that in, you get a, a, a negative driver in the pound at minus 315, front and back door flows, mainly going into the yen at plus 245, into the dollar at plus 189, and the euro is the negative rock at minus 119, activity plus or minus 434. So over the week then we had we had uh, we had uh, uh, the pound negatively driving in an opposed manner. We had yen strength, dollar strength, and and euro weakness on activity of plus or minus four three four. A thousand is going some on the activity, so about half marks on the activity to give you an idea. Right, we're going to stop it there. Right, welcome back. Uh, we've written up the um, uh, asset classes, so the U.S. dollar index. So it's still punching quite high. Uh, Basically, it's uh, off, off the all-time highs, well, not the all-time highs, the recent highs. It's just come back a bit, but it's still strong. Gold uh, didn't like this strong dollar uh, and the uh, US retail sales uh, and came off. It's now 0.43 from the high. Oil, oil's come off from its peak. It's about 0.33 from the high. Come off about a third from the modelled high. Uh, Wall Street then... Uh, likewise, it's come off about uh, 0.25 from the high, 25% roughly. S&P uh, 0.22 from the high and the tech 0.17 from the high. So uh, that's where we are. US 10-year, uh, basically a big spike up in price, uh, came back, uh, and this is the price of the uh, US 10-year, and now it's, it's, it's pushed up again in price, so yields are coming off, yields are soft. Uh, and the bund, likewise, it's actually broken the uh, short-term resistance in the bund uh, uh, in the model terms, and it's above uh, punching above that in price. So, so yields are relatively low in in Europe as well. So we've got we've got this um, uh, divergence between low yo low bond yields and uh, a strongish dollar index. Um, right, uh, copper, copper's been just chopping up and down. And if you look at the daily. That tells you why you, uh, trading has been difficult recently. Uh, well, not recently, for about the last uh, three months, to be honest. Uh, anyway, so uh, copper's been chopping up and down. It's now half marks. It's 0.5. And US steel has taken a dive again. It's 0.18 from the floor. So uh, what's been knocking it about? We're going to knock it about next week. Well, uh, Tuesday the 20th, uh, next week, we've got China rate decision. Uh, Wednesday, we've got AUD retail sales. Wednesday the 21st, uh, and Thursday the 22nd, we've got the ECB uh, rates decision, so EUR rates decision. Uh, and, the, and the most notable uh, uh, thing uh, of the week, really, was these, the, this uh, very strong US retail sales uh, and the, and the uh, subsequent sell-off in equities off the back of it, effectively. Right, so uh, let's we'll stop it there and restart it and do uh, look at the look at the uh, the data side. Right, we're back. We're going to have a look at the uh, the model data cycle. It's basically our version of the economic calendar. We've modelled tier one and tier two data, uh, and so here we go. So China then, China's got a neutral uh, data cycle. It's uh, it's not really firing. The dollar uh, USD data cycle is on the up. Um, German data cycle is uh, is soft. European data cycle is neutral. Um, let's have a look. The yen, the yen is neutral. 
Uh, the pound is neutral, the CAD is neutral, the AUD is uh, neutral to slightly up, uh, and where are we, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand is, has got a positive data cycle and the Swiss is neutral to slightly soft. So uh, that's where we are then, so we've got, we've got a bulk of um, that's neutral, uh, they're all neutral, and then you've got uh, the main, the main, uh, the main standouts is the dollar strength in the data cycle, um, and the New Zealand strength. And as we're shorting both of those, it's no wonder our trades are suffering a bit. We're uh, now about what are we? Uh, minus nine hundred points, about that. Uh, uh, from a peak of six and a half thousand, uh, so we've had a swing. Of, well, our peak swing was about seven and a half thousand uh, plus or minus, uh, and we're now about minus nine hundred points. Um, so uh, we've absorbed quite a bit of flack uh, recently, uh, but we're we're looking at long term positional trades. So uh, that's slightly different to uh, noise driven trades. Right. Anyway, so let's have a look at uh, finally what's been going on. So. Uh, You've got this uh, situation where, um, so we're short uh, uh, USD dollar against Euro pound AUD, and we're short NZD against Euro pound CAD uh, AUD. In other words, we're long, we're long all these against the dollar and long all these against the New Zealand. Right, so uh, obviously that's a, that's a sort of a brave stance at the moment because uh, the New Zealand dollar is the flavour of the month on the up and the dollar's very strong at the moment as well. But uh, we think this is just transitory noise to use the uh, uh, Fed's uh, jargon. Uh, and uh, obviously we're, we're looking at long-term positional trades. Uh, uh, and the fact that we're prepared to uh, swing around seven and a half thousand points tells you that we're looking for much bigger, uh, bigger moves. Uh, anyway, so that, that's where we are. Um, so you've got the majors, you've got the dollar, the euro, the yen and the pound. Um, we seem to be just sort of grinding, grinding on the up, uh, on the dollar. The dollar's, the dollar's quite possibly gonna, gonna uh, carry on on the up. Um, uh, the, the key one for us is the AED NZD, um, uh, and, and this has got about 500 points uh, potentially to hit our, our long term low, low, low modelled floor. So, uh, so we're looking at um, that sort of situation. We're on the minimums uh, and uh, we're, we're prepared just to, uh, to run it down 500 points on the minimums uh, and then. Uh, We'll obviously get a feel for it as it as it goes down. Um, it's starting to think about going down, but uh, it's not doing it yet. So uh, the markets are in a very sort of uh, choppy session. You say if you look at copper, copper tells you all you need to know. Look at the daily graph on copper, uh, and uh, you'll see how uh, how noise driven the markets are. So uh, anyway, we've combined these videos. So I hope that was useful. Um, uh, see you uh, see you Monday for the uh, daily briefing. Thank you for watching.